of the review team, and today I'm going to be reviewing Duke Nukem Total Melt Meltdown for the PlayStation 1. And I used to play this game, well it wasn't called Total Meltdown, it was called Duke Nukem 64, and I found it really, really enjoyable, but I, I got this one for like a dollar or so, and I kind of expected the same thing, but this is just horrible. It's way worse and it's harder, but you know, you're just going to have to wait and see. Just how bad it is. I'll show you a bit, a little bit of each stage. There's about, there's like three, four stages, but I can't beat the first level. So. <sighs> I'd just like to say, I always turn the music off because it kind of reminds me, for anyone who played the N64 version, it's kind of more. Anyway, this is the first level. Yeah, piece of cake. It's not a piece of cake, though. It's hard, really hard. Damn, those alien bastards are gonna pay for shooting up my ride. <laughs> what ride? Anyway, so this is Total Meltdown. Duke Nukem games have kind of been a little bit of, like, I don't know, I, I like Duke Nukem 64, but all the other ones I've played have been kind of like a failure so, of sorts. Like, Land of the Babes is pretty bad. Most of the ones where it's like third person, but this is just... I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's like, bad, but it's okay. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know. But it's just, the thing you're gonna see in a bit, I'm just playing a little bit here, but I'll show you in a minute. Is, shit! See, you can die, like, really easy, like, god damn. Just give me a minute, I'll try that again. And it's kind of the only thing that's kind of cool about this version is not even cool. It's more like a tumor. Yeah, the way a tumor is cool, you can make it like this. But little do you know, when you're playing this, you don't know what you're shooting at. And even better, you can't see the bad guys. See, he's right there, right? Well, watch. He's not there anymore, is he? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I killed him anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna show you another level before I end this. Stupid Duke Nukem. See, Duke Nukem reminds me of one of those queer 80s guys who has like a buzz cut and they listen to that like rock you like a hurricane song like 50 times a day. Uh, I think I'll show you this one. And I'll put it on hard. Just because to show that I'm tough. Come get some. T-U-F-F. -F. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum when I'm all out of gum. Anyway, this is the one thing I don't like about this version is this gun. Like, it was so, it was so bad. It was so, it was so badass in the N64 because this was two, like, machine guns and you just run through the level blasting. Oh, shit. Fuck. Anyway, if I, if I can get past these faggots, I'll show you what traumatized me throughout my childhood playing this. These things. I'm not even joking. I'll let them attack you just to show you. See, they crawl right in your face. It scared the shit out of me when I was like five. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up because there's not really much to show. It, anyway, my final thought, it's it's an okay, like, for play, I if, if I'd recommend it more for N64, but if you happen to see it for PlayStation, I'd, I'd recommend picking it up. Anyway,